So the left picture was taken 25 years ago. Maybe many of you in the room might not have even born. I was born and uh, raised in this village. The old village used to be in the up in the hills, and all these uh, downhills used to be agricultural land. The buildings constructed with concrete and uh, bricks were constructed in the last 20 years. Similarly, the ro road, electricity networks, and the telecom towers were also built in the same period of time. Whenever I see these pictures, many memories unfold in my mind. One, so we used to use kerosene for our evening lighting and uh, biomass for fueling our kitchens. I vividly remember the experiences we had waking up in the morning and rushing to clean the tar in our mouth and nose so due to the use of biomass burning and kerosene burning. I constantly, a constant reminder of the air we used to breathe. When I uh, completed my high school in the village, I came to Kathmandu and started understanding more and more. It's not my community or my village. Almost all Nepal used to have similar situation, using very uh, high root cooking and kerosene lamps. So because of that, annually 24,000 people die in Nepal. Thousands more get illness of prong, uh, cardiovascular systems. The situation is not limited to Nepal alone. Globally, Every year, 7 million uh, individuals die because of the air pollution. And out of that 7 million, 2 million are from four countries in South Asia. Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Nepal. If you look at the World Bank data, 9 out of 10 most polluted cities are from South Asia. And Kathmandu is one of the poster cities. The major contributors to this pollution is the biomass we are using for cooking and coals we are burning to electrify our households. The situation is very bad and we are facing new and new challenges day by day. And this is also badly affecting our climate and supporting the negative impacts of climate change. The governments are doing something to tackle these situations. Like in Nepal, so government has few plans, policies, and programs. For example, so Nepal is looking to construct 15,000 of installed capacity of electricity by 2030. 10 to 15% will be coming from solar and wind. Similarly, so at the moment, so we as an individual use about 400 kilowatt hour, 400 units of electricity annually, but the target is to reach, uh, increase that to 1,500 units by 2030. Also, there are plans to uh, electrify more and more vehicles on the road, like 90% passenger vehicles, including bike, will be electric by 2030, and also 60% of passenger vehicles will be electric by 2030. There are also other targets, like reducing the use of LPG to 40%, which is about 44% of us are using LPG for our cooking. So our target is to reduce that to 40% by 2030. Again, the consumption of fuel wood to reduce to 30%, now is still more than half of us are cooking using biomass for cooking. The urgency is quite important, so because the pollutions we are creating are harming our health, and also our environment and climate. The government are doing, but the speed is quite slow. That's why I'm here to call you to join the moment. So 
this is the problem for us, for everyone, but the uh, and situation is quite urgent, but the speed is quite slow. Hence, our actions matters. So then what can we do to uh, improve the situation? We can electrify our lifestyle. So the current biggest issue in the world is climate change. And to mitigate the impact, negative impact of the climate change, the only one solution is to electrify our lifestyle. So meaning whatever energy you consume every day, so you consume through the electricity, and that electricity comes from the renewable energy. For example, if you are using LPG to cooking, you can switch from today. You can use the renewable electricity. In Nepal's case, it's a, almost a renewable energy, so you can use induction stoves or something like that to cook your food. If you commute every day, and we can use the public transport, or we can choose the uh, walking, or we can choose the electric transportation. If you want to buy one, you might think to buy electric. Similarly, if in your profession, if you are, if, if you are using kerosene, kerosene uh, water pumps, uh, digital water pumps to, uh, to irrigate our lands, we can switch that to electricity. That's how we change our lifestyle, and we are making more and more electrified our lifestyle, and uh, the electricity is coming from the renewable energy. So become a prosumer. So if you have uh, some open space on a roof or elsewhere, you can install solar panels. Whatever energy you need for your daily use, you can use, and whatever leftover, whatever extra generated, you can send that to the national grid. So that also helps to make our grid more and more renewable. Another thing you can do is the spread the message. So communication is very important in today's uh, world. And if you communicate more and more about the positive messages that is bringing, electrifying our lifestyles, that is good to uh, tackle the complications uh, that pollution is creating. So we can talk with your neighbor, we can talk with your family, and we can talk with your local governments to plan to electrify all those things. Or become an uh, energy professional. So if you are you know, thinking what my future uh, profession would be, then you can come and work in the energy sector. So then what can you do? If you are a content creator, you have greater role here to play in the energy sector. If you are a social, social science or environmental science, you have different roles to play. If you, are an engineer, if you are an engineer, you have greater role to play. If you are a researcher, there are lots of things to do. If you are IT professional or IT students, you can come here and support to cleaning and greening our environment. So that's why what we can do is so we can electrify our lifestyle to clean and greening our environment so that the kind of uh, negative implications such as the most polluted poster city or the bad health or the illness or the death can be tackled together because small, small efforts makes big impact. Thank you very much.